Hello everyone, this is James with WP Ninjas. Uh, I want to show you one of the features that have gotten a quite a bit of uh, of an overhaul as we've rele as we're getting ready to release Ninja Forms 2.0, and that's our upload settings. Um, we've had a lot of requests. Uh, currently, attachments weren't being sent in emails without doing a little bit of additional code. We fixed that. Um, we've had just a lot of just little things that we've been wanting to enhance so here's a basic idea look at the upload settings uh, you can change your base directory you can add custom uh, dynamic directories by adding a few of these little uh, kind of short codes uh, and create something like uh, in, for instance if we wanted to use the form title you could actually add that and we'll go ahead and save our, our plugin settings. You can see now all of our files are actually going to be saved here with this form title. So that way, if you have different forms with uploads, you can kind of you'll have a directory and know exactly where those are being stored. Uh, but that's just a, a small portion of some of the things that we've been working on improving. So if we go to all forms, let's take a look at it, creating an upload form. Uh, we'll go ahead and create some fields. We're going to go ahead and add the file upload and of course a submit button. Under the file uploads we have a few options. We can allow users to upload multiple files instead of just one. So let's just you know, give it a number of like 10 uh, for multiple files. You can allow, you can uh, you know, choose to allow certain file types uh, as well as rename those uploaded files if you would like. You can also choose to email those files as attachments to the administrator. Uh, that you have set up in your form settings. So those are a few of the options that you have available just with your file upload uh, field. So let's go ahead and save that. And then we'll come over here and take a look at our new form and let's go ahead and preview that form. Let's go ahead and upload some stuff and because I want to show you something that I think is really cool. So I have a folder here called stuff that has a few things. We're going to go ahead and just upload those. And you see a list of those items. If you try to upload something that you've already added, it'll tell you the file's already been selected. Uh, that file's already been selected, so it won't let you add it again. Uh, but you can go through and add a bunch of files, as many as you've you have allowed. And there's a PDF and a bunch of JPEGs. So we have that. We'll go ahead and submit those. When it's done, it comes as your file. I've already had a success message. Uh, so there we have that. So now let's go and look at our file uploads. We have this cool browser uploads. It'll sh kind of show you all of the files. Tells you the form name that it was attached to. Um, if they were if the user was logged in, it would tell you the username, the date, the original file name, and then if the file name had changed. Uh, but what's really neat is this little filter over here that you can kind of filter. Uh, your type. So say you have a bunch of files and you want to just look at uh, PDF files. You can actually filter and just pull in all of your PDFs or in another case all your JPEGs. Uh, so this is actually a really nice feature so that you can kind of narrow down your search and find exactly what you're looking for as well as you know bulk delete them if you want to get them out of your system. You can search for a particular file name uh, and I you can probably use these all in conjunction with each other if that was something you wanted to do but if we wanted to just look at that CG3 file CG3 and enter and there it is uh, so you can filter through them you can look through all forms or you can just pick a particular form and just look at the files for that particular form in this case it's just this one you can also do it by date range of any type that you want so it's just a great way to look at your all of your uploads uh, in a very simple form um, not just by looking at your form submissions, but looking at the actual files themselves when you need to get to them, as well as you can also email them. So just a great, a lot of enhancements to our uh, uploads to Ninja Forms. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you keep your eyes open for uh, new videos and features this week as we get ready to launch Ninja Forms 2.0. Hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.